want to take a minute to talk about three uh, dimensions of uh, who we are as people and how they relate to um, church ministry in general and, and to us at Crossway. Uh, and so I, I found it to be helpful to think about three uh, overlapping circles. And in these circles, um, the top circle uh, we'll often talk about as our head. And um, this uh, generally makes sense to, to think about this idea of thinking. Um, this is an intellectual uh, dimension. And so this relates to thinking, um, it relates to truth, and it relates to teaching. Um, and so this is the aspect of us that has uh, our knowledge and how we share that knowledge and how that knowledge is, is a part of us. Um, the second category that we'll talk about is head, or heart, I mean. And heart, this is the, um, an emotional aspect of who we are, uh, emotional and relational. And so this is often related to our feeling. Um, it's often related to relationships. And then in, in our ministries, we, one aspect we think about this is worship and prayer. Uh, this is a way in which we relate to God. Um, and it also relates to fellowship, at least some aspects of fellowship. And then third category uh, we talk about is hands. And... Uh, so our hands, this is uh, related to our physical aspect of who we are. It relates to our bodies. Um, and so we will often then think about our actions and obedience. And often, in terms of church, this relates to service. And so this recognizes this idea that as human beings, we have... Uh, uh, our, our thinking, our intellectual aspect, we have our emotional relational aspect, and then we have our, uh, our bodies and our actions. Um, and uh, it's interesting to realize that we, uh, the guess is that we each have places that we're most natural. So some of us, the place we feel most comfortable is in thinking. And, and so we spend a lot of time in this circle and maybe not so much time in relating to people or in taking action. And some of us are very emotional and relational. And so thinking hard is, is hard work. Um, but we're very oriented around being with people and or, or in, uh, in thinking about how we're feeling and, and relating to God. And some of us are just very action-oriented. Um, that to stop and to think or to spend time talking to each other and figuring out how everybody feels just... That doesn't seem to make much sense. We want to take action. And churches do that as well. So some traditions uh, in the Christian church spend a lot of time with teaching, and that's what's central. And some have spent a lot of time in this thought of, of how do we relate to each other and how do we relate to God and the experience of God. And some have given an awful lot of time and uh, to action, to, to doing things, to, to improve things in the world. And our expectation is the place where we would like to, to, uh, to live in a rich way is in this intersection uh, of all three. So in that sense, what we want to push toward is a thinking that is very relational and action-oriented. And when we take action, we want our action to be with other people and focused on uh, and guided by what's true. And when we relate to each other, we're not just relating to each other. It's not just experiencing emotion. It's guided by what is true, and it takes action. And so our hope is that in, in all that we do as a church, we take seriously the idea that we are uh, beings that are made up of um, the intellectual and the, uh, the emotional and relational and the physical. And when we can, we like to do all three of these at once, always taking into account all three. Um, and when we can be uh, action-oriented in our thinking and our relating, um, this will be a rich place for us to be.